Hi everyone and welcome back. So in the previous video we have written our code. Now we will extend that code a little bit and we will see how it, how our application is working. So we have created uh, this app component which is purely a class based component. In this class based component we are using use state, use effect and whenever there is an API call we are making on the search function. So search function we are triggering whenever there is an engine is getting changed like the flicker engine or the Jiffy engine and based on your search we are updating the state so state is get, getting updated here and here we have these two components photos components and videos components so whenever we are making API call we are getting the photos and photos we are passing to both the components if our current engine is flicker then pass, the, pass these photos to the photos component if current engine is Ziffy, then pass these photos to the video component. They both look like same. If you see these videos, here we are just iterating onto this uh, loop. I mean, we are getting the videos array. So from the props, so we are getting these from the props and we are just creating the video component inside it. Similarly, in the photos component, we are getting all the photos. We are iterating on it. And this is another functional component. So functional component, you can write in different ways. Don't get confused uh, how we are writing it. So you can just do const const photos. You can write arrow function and then you can do export default. Export default. Here you can write your photos component. This is the one way. Or what you can do is you can just direct, uh, directly use export default with your function declaration export default function photos right so in the whole application the root component is app.js here we are collecting all the state earlier it was a class based component then we converted it to a purely a functional component in the functional component we are using use state use effect and these are the events which we are getting from the child component so search bar is child component here search bar so from search bar we are getting everything so search value, search term change. So these are the two DOM events we are triggering to the parent component own change and engine changed. Like whenever you are typing something and pressing enter, then it is just calling the search method from the parent component. And we are actually doing the destructuring of the props. So we are able to call all these methods. Search value we are getting from the parent component. You type something. So what is happening now? You are typing something in this search bar. Own change is getting clicked. So on change is defined here on change. So I mean search term change, search term change is actually updating the state and then this state again being passed to this child component. So we are able to show the updated value from search value. So it's not like you are typing something in the text field and that is appearing. No, you are typing something event is getting triggered to the parent component. Parent component is updating state component is getting re-rendered we are getting the new search value and that value we are showing here this is the example of controlled component okay now we can see the structure of these components which we are displaying if you just try to inspect all these then we will try to get the hierarchy of uh, these all components so go to the component tab and we'll visualize what all components we have in our application okay app component what all state it is having so you can say we are using huge state so hook we are which has a loading search value and engine these are the default values and these are the photos we recently got from the api called flicker apis now if you just change it to dog and press enter all right search value changed now new photos appear we are passing that in the search bar you can see we are, we are triggering these events to the parent component search engine change search term change and what we are receiving in the props the engine and search value that we are displaying here so whatever you are typing here like if you are typing cat and just changing this engine so first of all engine will get change like right and on change of engine we are actually making a call use effect so on change of engine we are making again this call to the search function search function is actually taking care of fetching the data again and these are the videos component here we are getting the list of videos we are passing that to the individual video item 
and there you have one click action that click action is doing nothing but just doing console.log okay so if you just try to inspect then we can see the structure of the component search bar is receiving some properties emitting some event and based on these events app.js is changing the state and like based on change on the engine we are again calling search based on the search term change and pressing enter we are again calling search and getting the data from the flickr api on the or the giphy apis okay and this updated state we are again passing to our child component search component to show what has been updated okay so this is like an interesting application in the next video we will see more and this code is already available i have provided the github link in the description please have a look thanks everyone